Last with the news again. You might have told us. What? And I'm using the parts of the Odeon this week. Oh, are you? No. I am? You know my oldest stuck on horror films? No, I mean about this. What? Leading civil servant resigns. James Hadley to return to Yorkshire. Let's see. He might at least have let us print it first. He might have. But you must have explained it to him. They pick it up from us or at least get it on the same day. And then one of us could have picked up a modest half guinea. Well, that would have helped too. Yes, I agree. I think it's a shabby trick. Shabbier than you know. No, I don't... Wait a minute. You mean you didn't know? I mean just that. Oh, then you must no, be testing... up a minute, love. I want to think. I think that's... I think you great. should belt up. <laughs> Look, I'll discuss a good deal with you. From your love life to the imprecision of this story of yours. House in danger in Fairfield Lane, but I will not discuss my relationships with our proprietor, so run along. Here, take this with you. I mark the more obvious places where the facts are missing. You know, what if you, you didn't get the facts the first time... I know. Go back. That's my girl. I'm sort of going back to our Mr. Hadley. Who? No, I don't talk to newspapers. Would you put him through to public relations? No, I don't want to speak to public relations. Look, you explain to Mr. Hadley. I'm speaking from Westdale, where he was born. Yes, I know him. I'm the editor of the Westdale Gazette. Yes, it is personal. Well, certainly I'll hang on. It's his brass I'm spending. He said that, did he? Well, let's not allow him to waste any more. Would you put him on? Good morning, Walters. I assume you've something urgent to say. Morning. I have something urgent to ask. Well? Well, today's post has a story that you're resigning and returning to live here. Yes. Is it true? Well, it's not untrue, but if you're quoting them accurately, then their tenses are a little muddled. Meaning? Meaning I'm not resigning, I have resigned. With effect from? With effect from this week, Friday, to be precise, though I don't see what business it is of yours. Don't you? No. I don't expect my arrival on the scene to have much effect on you, not immediately, anyway. <laughs> well, that's not quite the point. I'm speaking as a reporter. Your resignation is news. Oh, I shouldn't have thought so. Well, the post has already shown that it is. Well, if it has, it has. Well, it's even more news to this paper. Now we'll have to follow along behind. And you resent that? Well, yes, sir, I do. I mean, if one's own proprietor won't give one a story. Yes, I see that. It should have occurred to me. I may say that I didn't communicate with the Post personally. They must have got this from our press office, I suppose. Checked it with your press office, I should think, but they must have got the story from somewhere. No doubt, but does any of this justify a protracted telephone call over such vast distances? Look, I'm not speaking from Siberia. No, but you are speaking in my time, in a double sense. And at a rate per minute, which I hope my paper can afford, and even then doesn't indulge in often. Well, I wanted to check this. Well, you have. Then I shall want a quote. A quote? Yes, you know, something like, uh, I have decided that the future of England does not depend upon London. Well, I'd never say anything as fatuous or as trite. But something. Very well. I am returning to Yorkshire to devote my attention to the complex of interests for which I now find myself responsible. Got that? That's all. Go on. There's no more. But surely you can I've say something... I've said all I intend to. I see. Well, at least let me check your biography. Yes, well, if you can't do that locally, then you're even less enterprising than I'd expected. Is that all, Mr. Hadley? I think so. Oh, except that I'm inclined to treat this as, at best, an insignificant item of news. Thank you. Goodbye. Provincial. Condescending bastard.